what do you think the world would look like in the future? Do you imagine levitating trains, quantum computers, groundbreaking medical equipment or massive energy savings? It sounds like something from a science fiction film, does it not? But what if I told you we might be one step closer to achieving these feats? Scientists have now made a groundbreaking advance in superconductivity. Their paper has made it through the peer review process at the prestigious journal Nature. The research group says it is close to developing a superconductor which would work at room temperatures. Pay attention to my words here room temperatures because that makes all the difference here you see superconductivity was discovered over a century ago physicists found materials in which electrical resistance magically disappears these are known as superconductors usually electric flow encounters resistance as it moves through wires and this is almost like a form of friction some energy is always lost in this process. But that is not the case with superconductors. These materials can effortlessly convey electricity, effortlessly, without any resistance or energy loss. They are used in particle accelerators, generators, electric motors and MRI scans as well. Superconductors have been around for years now. Then what is the fuss all about regarding this new discovery claim? Let me explain it to you. These materials lose their resistance only under special conditions. They become active only below a specific temperature, meaning that they are functional in unearthly, ultra-cold environment and incredibly high pressure. And this has always limited their practical applications. They have been effective, no doubt, but it's difficult, expensive, also energy intensive to maintain a suitable environment. For decades now, scientists have sought superconductors that work at room temperatures. And now they are close to developing them. Let's see how. The new superconductor consists of lutetium hydrogen and a little bit of nitrogen. But there is a hiccup here. It needs to be compressed before gaining its superconducting prowess. How much? Well, it requires a pressure of 145,000 pounds per square inch. That is about 10 times the pressure exerted at an ocean's deepest trenches. Now, this is not a low figure, but let's compare it with the previous results just for some context. The same team released a paper in 2020, which was later retracted after its data was questioned. And in that study, the superconductor required over 100 times the pressure needed by the new one. Over 100 times. It was comparable to the crushing forces found several thousand miles within our planet. And seeing that the new study comes as a sigh of relief, it has rekindled hopes. The new material is superconducting at much lower temperatures, much lower pressures. Other research groups will also be able to reproduce the experiment and scientists now believe that one day a superconductor could work at normal atmospheric pressure. While the current one needs a very high pressure, it shows superconductivity at 21 degrees Celsius. Meaning at room temperatures, it does not require an ultra cool environment. The procedure followed yields positive results one out of three times and this comes as a big victory for physicists we are now available in your country download the app now get all the updates on the move